56 years old, recently diagnosed, where to begin on masks. It's a big topic and I'll try to keep a TikTok short. For those of you who aren't sure what masking is, it's where normal folk cosplay as a neurotypical. Why do we do this? Because neurotypicals get really weirded out when you start telling them excitedly about your skull collection. Masking is basically any behavior you change about yourself to be as little a target for bullying and harassment as possible. Sounds like a super fun existence, doesn't it? So unmasking can be tricky for a few reasons. For one, we've been doing it so long, we forget how to not do it. And another one, we often associate those behaviors that we've suppressed with being bullied. So we're scared to do them again. We're scared of, as an adult, being called immature or childish. Also, bullying as an adult can look like losing your job or being verbally or physically assaulted depending where you live. Masking isn't just about making friends. It can be purely about keeping safe. So here's three tips to unmask. But only do these in an environment where you are safe. So one, Look at old photos. Have a look in the background of those photos. What kind of toys and things are in the background? What are you wearing? What are you playing with? What are you doing? What friends are you with? Do any of these photos jog any memories of things you used to enjoy or used to do that you don't do anymore? Do. If your parents or grandparents are still around or even childhood friends, ask them what kind of things you used to enjoy as a kid. I recently ran into an old school friend I hadn't seen in 20 years. They seemed a little bit jumpy. I asked if she was okay and she said she had some anxiety issues. I said, oh, that sucks. You never used to be like that. And this look came over her face like she had completely forgotten that this was not her natural state of being. And then I told a story. I said, remember the time we got in trouble for X telling a story from back in school? And she laughed and said, I had completely forgotten I used to be like that. Sometimes you just need to run into somebody that knows what you used to be like. Finally, number three. Three, 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 three. This is actually the best one. Hang out with other normal folk. I have remembered so many things that I used to do just by hanging out with other normal friends. We tend to just naturally unmask around each other because we naturally tend to recognize our own and we know that this is a fun space. So you tend to bounce off each other's energy and things get real fun and real weird real quick. Someone will make a suggestion like, let's build a pillow fort. Someone else, it might be 2 a.m. You're still mucking around doing whatever in the laundry room. And they're like, let's make pancakes at 2 a.m. And your adult brain goes, it's 2 a.m. I shouldn't be making pancakes. Before one of them will be like, you're the adult. You get to make the decisions now. And you start to break those rules that society is stuck in your head that aren't really rules. Hell, one might even suggest let's dress up and go to the shop. Let's dress up like dinosaurs. It's a lot of fun. Studies have shown the importance of community, particularly for our people, just because we are often excluded from a young age. And masking is hugely stressful on our body and really not good for our nervous system. And extended masking often leads to burnout. If you want a community where you can join and be in fun as weird as you like, come check out my favorite cult. I'll be going into a lot more detail on all of this because there is a lot to unpack. You can ask me questions, chat with other awesome people. It's a great place for normal folk to unmask and be their entire fabulous rainbow sparkly selves. I hope all this helped. Come check it all out.